Hi friends, welcome to my channel Optimetry Online. The topic for today's video is MCQ questions regarding lens. Let's go to the first question. The power of intraocular lens should be increased in which of the following conditions? Option A, as the lens power of the cornea increases and the axial length increases. As the power of cornea decreases and axial length increases. As the power of cornea increases and axial length decreases. Option D, as the power of cornea decreases and axial length decreases. The answer is option D. Because this happens in hypermetropic eyes where the refractive power of eye oil is comparatively lesser than the myopic and the emetropic eyes. So the eye oil power has to be increased thereby making the lens to uh, the rays of light to get focused on the retina. Next question. Microspherophacia is associated with which of the following conditions? Options are action field anomaly, galactosemia, Marfan syndrome, wheel Marquesani syndrome. The answer is Akisani syndrome, it is a connective tissue disorder associated with joint stiffness, cardiac anomalies and where the lens inside the eye is small and spherical called as microspherophakia. Next question. A patient is complaining of severe pain and visual loss 48 hours post cataract surgery. On examination, the patient had ciliary injection, corneal edema and the loss of red reflex. The first suspicion should be option A, secondary glaucoma, option B, anterior uveitis, option C, bacterial endophthalmitis, option D, acute conjunctivitis. The answer is bacterial endophthalmitis. Next question. In determining the axial length with immersion technique or contact applanation method, it is which is which of the following is more appropriate? The options are in dense vitreous hemorrhage, history of corneal refractive surgery, in patients of aphakia and in the patient who had undergone retinal surgery with silicone oil implant. The answer is dense vitreous hemorrhage. What happens is in other three conditions, there is a change in the velocity of the media. So the reading acquired by under these conditions, there is the reading will be, uh, there will be variation. So we have to readjust the velocity in order to get a proper axial length reading. Next question. Which laser is used in capsulotomy? Okay, diode laser, carbon dioxide laser, excimer laser, neodymium YAG laser. The answer is neodymium YAG laser because in, in this laser it applies series of focal ablations in the posterior capsule and disturbs the membrane thereby increasing the visual acuity. Next question. What complication is common in cataract surgery in a patient who is having nanophthalmos? The options are endophthalmitis, regular astigmatism, regmentinogenous retinal detachment, uveal effusion. The answer is uveal effusion because in uveal effusion, there's a the eye is usually a shot with the axial length of less than 20 millimeter. The ratio of lens volume to eye volume is higher than normal. So there's an anterior chamber crowding and the sclera, which is thick, it is also weak. So it impairs the venous drainage through the vortex veins and thereby it causes a uveal effusion. Next question. Which is the ideal site for implantation of eye oil? Capsular ligament, sulcus, anterior chamber, capsular back. The answer is capsular back because it gives a better post-operative outcome and lesser post-operative complications. Next question. The lens capsule is thinnest in anterior pole, posterior pole, equatorial region. The answer is posterior pole. As you can see, it is 4 micrometer posteriorly and compared to other regions where it is relatively thicker. Next question. Crystalline protein found in the lens is water soluble or water insoluble? The answer is water soluble. But as age advances, the ratio uh, of water insoluble increases leading to cataract formation. Next question. What factor may reduce the posterior capsule opacification following the implanted acrylic foldable IOL? Avoidance of hydrodissection of cortex, sulcus haptic placement, Square edge optic design, capsular excess larger than the unfolded lens optic. The answer is square edge optic design. So this design is thought to uh, give a mechanical barrier effect and thereby inhibits the migration of lens epithelial cell, thereby reducing the incidence of posterior capsule opacification. Next question. The cause of acquired lens displacement is options are trauma, homocystinuria, Marfan syndrome, and iridia. The answer is trauma. The features like tall, light colored hair, cysteine deficiency, nephronasal subduxation of the lens, increased levels of methionine are features suggestive of 
which of the following conditions? Options are Marfan syndrome, Low syndrome, Wheel Marquesani syndrome, homocysteinuria. The answer is homocysteinuria. Next question. A patient is present with mature lens, secondary angle closure, and without evidence of pupillary block. What is the most likely diagnosis? Options are lens particle glaucoma, phaco antigenic uveitis, phacomorphic glaucoma, and phacolytic glaucoma. The answer is option D, phacolytic glaucoma. In, so, in this condition, the mature lens gets a, there's a denatured protein which is uh, leaks through the intact capsule and that gets clogged in the tubicular meshwork, thereby precipitating the glaucomatous attack. Next question. What type of cataract is common after the past plana vitrectomy? The options are nuclear cataract, posterior subcapsular cataract, cortical cataract, posterior polar cataract. The answer is nuclear cataract because there is an increase in the partial oxygen pressure which leads to ox oxidative stress thereby causing vasification of lens fiber leading to nuclear cataract. Next question. What adjustment of eye oil needs to be made if the planned eye oil, uh, bag eye oil is put in sulcus? In this case, which is optic aperture. The options are decrease the power of eye oil, increase the power of eye oil, do not change the power of eye oil. The answer is so as the eye oil moves forward from the back to sulcus, you are supposed to uh, reduce the eye oil, AC eye oil uh, power because you have to, uh, as the distance from the retina increases, the power of implant should be reduced. The AC eye oil is usually lesser than, uh, three diopters lesser than the PC eye oil. But in this case, you don't have to reduce the power of eye oil because it is an optic capture where the optic is still in the back. But another condition, if your you planned eye oil is kept in uh, anti uh, AC, it has to be reduced by three diopters. Next question. Oil droplet cataract is seen in which of the following condition? Galactosemia, low syndrome, homocysteinuria, wheel Marquesani. The answer is galactosemia. So in galactosemia, it is caused by deficiency of galactokinase enzyme and there is an increase in the gasitol concentration which leads to cataract formation. Next question. Which of these is following is false regarding Elsting pearls? Complication of intracapsular cataract extraction, migration of epithelial cells along the posterior capsule, formation of bladder cells of Walden, typically transparent but may opacify. The answer is complication of intracapsular cataract extraction, where the capsule ex uh, itself is removed in the procedure. Next question. During embryonic development, the primary lens fibers are derived from which of the following? Anterior epithelial cell, equatorial cells, posterior epithelial cells, lens capsule. The answer is posterior epithelial cells. Next question. Progressive renal failure, hearing loss, bilateral anticonus, anterior lenticonus is seen in which of the following cases? Wilson's, Alport's, Low syndrome, Axenfield Rieger syndrome. The answer is Alport syndrome. It's an inherited form of nephritis with sensory neural hearing loss and lenticonus. Next question. Which of the following will not cause a myopic shift in refraction? Options are uncontrolled hyperglycemia, option B, nuclear cataract, option C, long-term hyperbaric oxygen, option D, choroidal thickening. The answer is option D, choroidal thickening because all the other conditions will cause an increase in the myopic shift. That's all for the video today. If you like my video, kindly like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.